Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Mercenaries 2 Part 41. We're going to do the introduction to the Allies and Chinese. So probably heard, sinking that oil rig seems to have set up a firestorm. Figured it would. It's going to get real hard for Solana now when the big guns are rolling in. Oh, good point. The Americans, sorry, the Allied Nations moved in once it was obvious Universal Petroleum couldn't keep the oil flowing. They're spending a lot of money on democratic propaganda, but all the military assets are guarding the oil. Yeah, that's not gonna make China very happy. No, it doesn't. China was funding the guerrillas, hoping the PLAV would seize power and sell the oil to China. And that didn't work. They thought it was time to join the party. Which means everyone who ever manufactured earth-penetrating weapons is here. And they're both looking for mercs to cut through the red tape and get stuff done unofficially. Go to one, either, both, I have no preference. Alright, yeah, we now have the last two factions in the game, which are the American and Chinese, as you can obviously see. So, for just meeting them, I guess they're going to give us a five, six or so, something like that, shop items from them. <clears throat> um... Let's... I'm having an issue. I'll be right back. Alright, back. Okay. I'm going to do the Chinese first. Because it's the way I've always played the game. I've always done the Chinese first. Not because I like the Chinese more. Damn Asians have no penis. I don't want to be hanging around them. Although I don't want to see penis anyway. That's not the point I'm getting to here. Americans are assholes anyway, so I don't really want to be around them too much either. But later go. in the game, the Chinese missions are much harder. And my, for me, the way I play Chinese missions in this game are harder than the American ones. So I'm going to do the Chinese missions first. Get a helicopter, a decently One good helicopter, helicopter from the Chinese ones. Back to the villa. Got to get a decently better helicopter from the Chinese so I can use it to stealthily take out half their ship before they even know I was there. In later missions. Now where is this base at? Oh, Jesus Christ, that's far away. You know what? I think I'll have to, like, skip to there really quick. Okay. Uh, yeah, here we go. That's much faster than traveling for, like, three or four minutes across Venezuela. Wish I... I just discovered how to cut videos. I'm using Windows Movie Maker, so, um... Excuse that if I haven't got it done in, like, the past 40 parts. Just kind of figuring all this stuff out are just starting to need to cut it because I literally needed to fly across Venezuela right there. I hear you. And fast forwarding wouldn't even be worth it. Before they contract out to you, the Chinese wants you to capture a VZ outpost just west of Kumana. One mil tank buster, I'm any air rockets, generous. fuel storage yeah, upgrade, shit. I think they even had some free artillery strikes in there, which I haven't really used much. Actually, I go through this game pretty much and I barely use artillery or airstrikes or whatever. It's just the way I play. I don't really need to use them much, although I probably could in many cases. I'm not looking forward to the Chinese bounties. Their HVTs suck. Really. Capturing them all alive were... That, that was difficult. Come to think it, there's an HVT right here. In this base, but I didn't get them yet. Holy shit! Oh, oh, that's why the bullet came so close. It was a tank that shot at me. I get it now. I bet you that other bullet that just flew by me was another tank. Um, there are people down here. I don't want them shooting at me. Oh, look, there's a tank. Dodging all these anti-air missiles are becoming quite the task. Oh look, it almost hit me again. I bet you that was that tank I left alive back there for a second. Yep. Of course it is. I don't like you. You're gonna die. Why do tanks have dead aim? I don't get it. There's a guy right here who needs to die. 
Uh, I don't think that missile just hit me. Oh well. Now, if you've noticed, to capture the outpost, I need about twice as many soldiers to get in as I did last time. Commandos inbound. But this is a very easy base. Shouldn't put anyone in much trouble. So, don't really worry about it. Just throw in about two helicopters I think you need. Commandos inbound. Collect anything that's left alive, like fuel. I think they have an airstrike out front. Let me see that. Yeah, they do. Just, um... Look, more commandos. If you want to have like the Asianality thing where you know there's three billion Asians to one white man or some shit like that, you can um just keep ordering in the Asians. They they have some everywhere. You're never gonna run out of them. Let's see how many I can get before the outpost captures and I can't order in anymore. See what I got like. I got a good few right here, but six or seven or so. Inbound to your location. I'm gonna have to see that. Contract completed. One mil. That's nice. I could live with one mil. Oh, uh, look at that. Oh, yep. Yep, a lot of them. Let's see. Yeah, new shop here. items. Mercenary. Stockpile items. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Two, four, six, nine, ten. Welcome back, mercenary. There we go. New bounties, and I got this landing zone. Glad to have you on our side. That's very nice. I'm gonna go get my PMC fuel storage upgrade, and I guess that'll be the end for this part. Uh, seeing as I didn't upload in three days or so because my audio was having issues, I'm going to upload two parts today because I didn't do my day or every other day uploading I usually do. So yes, I'm going to upload two parts today. You get to see the next outpost done, which there's only three again. So tomorrow, I guess, I'm going to have the next one in, which is the last outpost. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and see you all later.